Hello and welcome back. So we have added the tiles inside our warehouse as you can see. Now the next thing which we will do is to add the other machines as well. So whoops. We select the wrong things. Let me select these two. Move it. A little bit at the back, okay, like that. It looks good now. Okay, so now let's go back to the prefabs and in the props folder. If you scroll down, as you can see, we have a lot of machines right here. So we will simply drag that machine there. Then the machine one and the machine two, and also let's add the desk as well and some chairs. Okay, let me now unpack all of that completely. Now click on this machine A and let's it to 180 on the y-axis and let's rotate this to 180 as well and that one too and if we zoom in let's make this touch the wall like that okay do the same for this one as well Okay, this and then for this one too. Okay, let me select all of these skills and let's add a box collider to it. Okay, now it has the collider too. Now let's position this accordingly. So now let's select this one, move it right here, maybe, and then select that one and move it right here. Okay, and it looks good like this. Now what we will do is to select this desk okay let's rotate this on 180 as well let's move it here okay we will keep that there and then select this chair move that there as well and let's leave this chair somewhere randomly Okay, for example, right there. So now we have the chair, desk, and everything. So what we will do, we will maximize the warehouse game object and drag and drop this inside this floor and things. Okay. Inside this flooring things, let's create another empty game object and name this just floor. Okay, and then select the metal tiles, all of them, one by one. And simply drag and drop this inside the floor. So now we have a clear hierarchy right here. Now, the next thing which we will do is to protect this warehouse from entering randomly okay we don't want to the plate to just go in there okay we want to add a gate right here and then there will be a mission which you saw in the introductory video is to find the key and open the gate so for the gate what we will do 
we will open up this tools and uh, let's select this tool okay now you can see it matches our warehouse as well let me click on that and click on that completely let me remove that script and this LOD lighting and if you see the game becomes uh, a lot more laggy as you can see so what we will do is right here if we click on this rendering and then lightning in the previous video as you saw we uh, increased the light map resolution let's now decrease it to 5 for example okay and let this complete let me remove that and now as you can see now it is not that much of a lag as you can see it is now normal okay now what we will do is to fit this door to this whole area so what we will do let's change this to Two and let's change this to 1.3 okay and let's change this to 0 0.1 maybe I think 0 0.1 will be enough for this okay now let's move it like this okay we have two now let's, uh, change this to 2.5 Okay, it looks good like this. Move it down as well. And from the sides let's do this As you can see now the door looks perfectly fine if you see it from inside and out it looks good like this we have the main door right here we will add some animation so that the door will open okay if you see we have two doors right here we have this one and that one okay so we want that and this one so what we will do we will delete the other one now we have this door okay and we will add some animations on this in the upcoming videos so now we have the door added and if you see it looks good on the warehouse it matches the warehouse So with this done, the next thing which we will be which we will do is to create a lightning system inside our warehouse. Okay, we will add some lights to our warehouse, and also we will add a lights to the system as well, and we will create a control system for these generators. So see you guys in the next video.